Hello commanders and welcome in the last part of the Chilean Empire series. Actually, I'm a little bit sad. I didn't want the series to finish. I didn't want it to finish because it had a lot of action, a lot of fun. We all together, we suffered a lot. We have been encountering a lot of actions, a lot of wars, a lot of uh, challenges, a challenge after another. But I'm actually satisfied. First, I'm satisfied because I found this active lobby and we had an amazing game. Second, I was satisfied with my community that have been supporting me. Uh, everyone actually have his own insight. I have been reading all the commands in the full series from episode 1 and everyone seriously, you have a mastermind of strategies. You guys are perfect. Thank you so much and I appreciate your support. But today, we are going to see who is going to be the winner of the Chilean Empire series that we started after the vote that everyone voted for a random selection. Uh, the random selection gave us Chile and uh, we controlled all of South America very early in the game but later on we kept fighting the European coalition. The European coalition had five members 100% active. They did not give me a chance to really fortify myself, to strengthen myself. The European coalition uh, fought for their ally United Kingdom. Our campaign on United Kingdom was 100% successful as we destroyed him to ashes and took all of his lands. But his allies came to his help. That was actually impressive and good. At the same time, Ukraine now is starting with his Ukrainian airstrike. We saw this in the last part and I wanted to start with it today to show you the result and the impact of this airstrike on the Chilean Empire land. At the same time, I'm, I'm uh, trying to uh, spam a lot of cruises at least to secure my coasts. You saw that we have been suffering all along to destroy the German task forces, the Ukrainian submarines and destroyers and lately the, uh, the Finnish submarines and of course the first one who started attacking us was United Kingdom and he was destroyed badly as we killed all of his navies and all of his land forces actually he is lucky to have such good allies he is lucky that his allies now have retrieved all of his lands they has retrieved all of his lands this is actually amazing also guys I want to speak about the next series like usual, we are going to put a vote on the YouTube channel. So stay tuned for the vote to uh, be uploaded on the community uh, menu of our YouTube channel and be a part of the choice of the next series. And now we are going to see the faith of the Chilean Empire series. I know it has been hard. I know, guys, you believed in me that I am going to win. But when I opened, after a night's sleep, this happened. The Chilean lands have been wiped out they launched a full-scale land invasion and actually i was shocked to see this i was shocked to see the site they destroyed me from everywhere actually they entered from all the lands from all the sites of south america like they were like cancer coming from all the sides that that was outrageous yet um, I'm so happy that you believed in me to win this one. I'm so happy that you have faith in me, you had faith in me that I am going to kill the European team. I did everything in my power to have a chance to um, kill them, but I had some family commitments. I wasn't like 100% active to actually have a chance against, against them. At the same time, I cannot deny the credits of the European team that did pretty much amazing in this game. Their teamwork was the best I have ever seen in a public map. Yes, as I said in the last episode, they weren't like professional players with advanced strategies, but they had the teamwork. The teamwork was enough to kill any good player in Conflict of Nations. So you are going to say how to kill someone like Meliodas, a very good player, etc. You just need a good team. And in front of you, you can see that this is the winning team of today's lobby, the European team, Germany, Finland, United Kingdom, Ukraine and France. But even though we lost all of our homeland cities, I am still fighting. My naval patrol aircrafts, my last standing stack of NPA, 
uh, is um, targeting some land ra uh, naval radars here, a lot of them. So I'm going to launch all of my reserves of uh, conventional warheads on them. I'm just going to launch them all there. At least we finished this game in style, guys. We do not want to just finish like that. We have to inflict as much damage to them. That is also good for our KD, for our stats, for our uh, rank, of course. Whenever you kill enemies, whenever you um, inflict casualties to active players, human active players, this will have a huge impact on your stats. That's very good and we shall never surrender here. Okay, now I'm going to give you my brief analysis why we actually we lost this game. First of all, our naval composition was not complete. I needed frigates with my cruisers. Uh, one of my mistakes that I did here that I did not make frigates because if I made frigates, the German cruise missiles and the German air force will be useless against our navies. This is the first mistake we did. The second mistake we did that I did not do a lot of diplomacies in this game. I should have spoke with the Asians to attack the Europeans from the other side. That will buy me a lot of time. Usually I make a lot of diplomacies during this game, but this one I just wanted to focus on the solo gameplay. I did not want to um, uh, make a lot of uh, schemes and problems in this game. I just wanted to lay low, play my game, win a solo and move on. But the Europeans, they saw me going straight for the solo win, so uh, going directly for the solo win. This is why they attacked me so early. They even launched their strike on the Chilean Empire before they finish Africa. You see, they already know that the Chilean uh, nation is going to be a problem in the future because I was going solo. Another one, guys, that uh, I really did a huge mistake when I sent my armies to United Kingdom. I sent my armies without naval escort. My ships, they did a different route from my uh, land radars. I did not give attention to that one. But the route that my uh, land forces, they passed through, they encountered submarines. And those submarines sunk my uh, land armies. We saw that in episode 10, if I remember correctly. So, as an advice, boys, in the next one, when you send land armies to another continent or another island or something, Escort them behind your navies. So whenever there is something ahead your navies, they will kill them. This is a very important uh, Tip guys very important one Also one other a huge mistake that I did in this one This is the biggest mistake Meliodas did in this game that I let my enemies grow very very fast when I, when I finished South America, I took a lot of time to rebuild and uh, upgrade my armies and let the European team expand so much in Africa and have a lot of resources. What I actually do, like every time we do, we break our enemies before they grow up. I should have went straight to them before they come to me. That's the first mistake and the biggest mistake we did in this series that cost us this game. That we didn't and we weren't the first one to attack the European team. If we did that and we went straight to their capitals and straight to their homeland cities and performed the uh, naval blockade on the entire European, uh, 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 entire European continent, we can have a chance at least to break two of their... Uh, Coalition members, we break them entirely like we broke United Kingdom and later on we will force the other three and the remaining three to keep a peace pact with them. Like that, if they accept to keep the peace pact with Chilean Empire, we can go to Asia, have as much lands as we can and win this game in solo. So guys, Today we are going to finish the Chilean Empire series. Congratulations for the European team for winning this lobby. I am actually very impressed by their teamwork. Now let's prepare for the next solo gameplay series. Stay tuned for the vote on the YouTube channel and guys be a part to choose the next series and the next campaign that we are going to have fun in it. All together we are going to create a huge empire in the future but you are going to decide which empire we are going to create see you guys and bye bye